Hello my Virgos, it's Rhiannon and I am back. Sorry for being MIA. I've um, been busy working and I just decided it's time to get back. So um, I'm going to do this for the whole month of June. That way we know that we have it handled. So I do recommend watching this more than once as the month of June progresses. Things will make sense and you will be ready to um, absorb more of the message. So this is something that you'll want to watch maybe two or three times over the month of June. <coughs> Again, this is for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising. And um, a couple important dates coming up for June. We have the new moon in Gemini on June 3rd. We have the full moon in Sagittarius on the 17th. And we have the summer solstice on June 21st. We have eight different decks we're working with here today. We've got a couple of questions. So starting with overall theme for June, we'll be using the Lenormand and the Tarot deck. Then we'll go into... <coughs> what needs to be released and I have an essential oil deck then we have what do we want to work with as far as energies and I have a crystal deck then we have the new moon which is what we want to manifest then we have the full moon which is what wants to be released and then finally we have another tarot deck the ancestral path tarot for any additional guidance or messages that want to come through so with that being said Virgo let me slide this pile over let's get into it TGIS TGI sunshine. It's finally sunny today. If you guys can see out of my window. Oh my god, yes. It's been so rainy here and so gloomy. So um, I hope that this sunshine is helping you guys feel better. It's probably what motivated me to be honest to get on here and do this reading. So starting with the Lenormand for Virgos. Hold on, let's take a deep breath, everybody. And I really do want you guys to take that breath. <clears throat> what does Virgo need to know about June? What's coming up for Vir Virgo in June? We have the anchor first up, followed by the garden and the letter. Okay, so the anchor is about things that burden us, things that are weighing on us. Um, it's about, um, sometimes it feels a little work related, even though technically in the Lenormand, the work card is the bear. We have the garden, which is about socializing, social outings, parties, barbecues, celebrations, etc. And we also have the letter, which represents communications, hearing from somebody. It can mean the form of a letter, receiving some kind of correspondence, a text message, a phone call. So, um... Let's try to put these together in a way that makes sense. I just want to relook up the anchor. Security, stability, occupation, training, goals, determination, perseverance, obligations, burden, weighing down. Okay, so like I said, burdens and work. It can also mean security and stability. Um, so you will be hearing something or receiving some kind of message or correspondence regarding work maybe you'll be getting invited to a party maybe like a work barbecue or like a lagoon day for work or you know something like that could mean that um that's what we're going to go with if you get invited or hear something uh, about work that's a party of any kind you should be going go have some fun make light of it work doesn't always have to be a burden sometimes it can be fun as well Okay, so um, now we're going to go into the tarot. What do Virgos need to know about June 2019? What's going to be coming up for them? We have the Ace of Wands. Nice. New beginnings. Creation. What are you going to be creating, Virgos? What are you going to be creating with this Ace of Wands that just came in? <clears throat> new beginnings. New creation. Nine of Pentacles. So it could come to... Um, could be creating more leisure, more money, more money creates more leisure, right? Because the more money we make, the more time for leisure activities we have. What else does Virgo need to know? And we also just pulled out, there's a weird hair on me. <clears throat> we also just got the 
four of pentacles as well as the three of pentacles so a lot of pentacle energy for you virgos and you guys are an earth sign so that makes sense a lot of focus on money and work as a virgo would um but yeah Aug or sorry i just almost said august june is going to be a good time for you guys to start something what, what have you been thinking about starting um, what's been on your mind? What do you want to create? Okay. And um, for some of you guys, you think money is not there or you don't have enough money. Mm, Four of Pentacles tells us that we're being a little bit stubborn. Like look at him sitting on his piggy bank like, no, this is mine. Don't be stingy. Um, be willing to put a little bit of investment into yourself. Put a little bit of investment into whatever, whatever this is that you want to create. Um, and then also with the three of pentacles, um, this is about, um, learning and, um, maybe you want to put some money into yourself for like a certification or a class or some type of, um, new project, new something to learn, I guess. <clears throat> and then again, of course, to the nine of pentacles, look how leisure, she, look how leisurely she is just enjoying her book, having a glass of wine. Um, so this is also here to tell us to make sure to take time to smell the flowers. Again, we did have the garden, so this could mean like a social outing. Um, and yeah, so there, and it is June, the first month of the summer. Kids are out of school, so that is barbecue season, those type of things. So this is just kind of an invitation for you to get out there and do that. Um, I do want to just look up the one card that I'm feeling a little bit like there's more for us to learn is this. Um, three of pentacles so I'm just going to look up the everyday witch let's look up the three of pence because I feel like we're missing something important where are the green pentacles <clears throat> excuse me guys working together we can create something wonderful if this card shows up in a reading, it is an indication that you are either presently involved with others in a way that requires cooperation, or you soon will be. <coughs> this is almost always a good thing and a gift to be appreciated. Who are you working with? And are you doing your best to be part of the team? Good question. Is there someone who is not working well with others? If so, what is your best way to deal with this fact in a productive and useful manner? Okay, so that's also the message of that three of pentacles. <clears throat> but intuitively, based on the imagery, because I like to use the imagery of the card too, and this seems like a whiteboard or a chalkboard and learning, but this could also be around communication and um, like maybe a work meeting where we all get together and brainstorm over the whiteboard and somebody may not be being cooperative, but this is asking you to be the person that kind of brings the team together instead of divides the team, Okay. <clears throat> excuse me throat chakra issues all right what does um wants to be released for virgo we're using my essential oil oracle deck here <clears throat> what wants to be released in the month of june for our virgo friends okay so what we're going to use to be released is we're going to use the trigger statement <clears throat> the trigger statement here is i am not enough so we want to release that limiting belief system that we are not enough. And what we want to change that to is I love myself. This says our tender heart is in need of care. Know that your body is here to help you experience a miraculous life. And you can use the essential oil bergamot. And this is also the energy of expansion. <clears throat> you guys. Or is somebody in here having some throat chakra issues? You Virgos need to speak up. It's time to speak up because I wasn't having this little frog in my throat until we started talking. Okay, and we also have anti-aging blend, but this is the, um, in doTERRA, the anti-aging blend is called Immortal, <clears throat> but it is the energy of spirituality. And the trigger statement is, I am so disconnected. So we want to release that limiting belief of not being connected. And we want to switch that to everything is connected, including you. You're part of the universe. 
you're part of the macrocosm of life, okay? <clears throat> and uh, what oil, or not, sorry, what oil, what crystal wants to work with you? We'll be using the Lavish Earth Oracle for Virgo. We have Fire Agate. <clears throat> Fire Agate's keywords are production, immunization, immunization, grace under pressure. And the Fire Agate says... This deep, rich agate helps to immunize you against what's going on around you, offering a layer of protection from external influences, helping you to stay, stay strong regardless of who or what is happening in your immediate environment. Fire agate helps you to get through difficult situations with grace. In other words, walk through the fire unscathed. Agate is fine-grained quartz with a host of foreign material, which gives it its variety of colors it's known for. It's actually the same physical properties of quartz. So fire agate. And there's a message around the outside of the card that I'm going to read. And it says, healing mantra for the day. So I want you to use this healing mantra for the month, which is, again, why you're going to want to rewatch this video because you'll probably forget. Healing mantra for the day is, may I feel all I need to feel in order to heal. May I heal all I need to heal in order to feel. I love that because sometimes we block ourselves from our feelings and our emotions, um, trying to protect ourselves. Okay. Um, next up is new moon. Again, the new moon's on June 3rd. So hopefully you guys see this before June 3rd. Manifesting for June 3rd. What should the focus for Virgo be? <clears throat> Virgo, solar plex, oh, sacral chakra, sacral chakra, and I, I'm thinking that I didn't pick the best deck, deck for manifesting because I forget this deck has a lot of dark energy, which is good for shadow work. It's better for full moon, but so I have to kind of twist this to make it work for manifestation. So what you want to be working on manifesting is more passion. So have sacral chakra here, creation, passion, lighting up our sacral chakra for creation and passion, the color of orange, um, fertility. Maybe some of you want to get pregnant. This would be a good time to get pregnant because we have fertility as well as sacral chakra, which is where you would hold the baby. So if you're looking to get pregnant and you're a Virgo, this would be a good month. If you're not wanting to get pregnant, check your birth control. Um, and we also have the energy of disruption. This is about breaking free, breaking free from those limiting belief systems. So we want to create more freedom, right? Less disruption, more freedom. Um, as far as full moon goes, we would like to release for Virgo. My goodness. For Virgo, we want to release. <clears throat> we have the God archetype and the queen archetype the god archetype shadow attributes are what we're going to be looking at so what we want to release is the shadow and the shadow of the god archetype is um depo depotism and cruelty using power to control people and virgos you guys all know you have some control issues and um you have a little bit of a god complex and you need to release some of that that's what needs to be released the full moon um and then the queen archetypes shadow attribute is um becoming arrogant with authority when authority is challenged controlling and demanding so those are kind of the same card you guys are the queen of the castle the king of the castle the god complex and yes we all are gods and creators <clears throat> and it's great that you guys are so powerful and have so much um self-control but sometimes it can be too much and when you feel like your life is out of control, what you guys try to do is control others. So we really need to work on healing that during the full moon. And what we want to do is turn that around to the light attribute, which would look like radiating the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. So more of the Virgo, the mother, the healing energy, right? <clears throat> and then on the God side, it says the light attribute is benevolence and compassion, recognizing the internal force within yourself and others. Okay. Okay. So that's your new moon, full moon energy. Now for the summer solstice on the 21st, which is also a great time to manifest similar to the new moon. This is the goddess guidance oracle. And I just want to pick a goddess and an energy for your Virgo to work with during this um, summer solstice. And you have Vesta. 
which is about home. And it says, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the um, occupants of the home. So many of you Virgos are going to be moving or you're looking for a new home <clears throat> or you're feeling like your home is unsettled. So I want you to work on manifesting that. That can be both of your new moon and your um, summer solstice an intention is working on creating an, a home of balance and you can call on the goddess of Vesta to help you guys do that. And now finally for the additional messages we'll be using the ancestral path tarot. For any additional messages for Virgo for the month of June. And we have the reverse king of sacred circles, okay? So which is basically the king of pentacles in reversed. Um, I am going to look this up in the book just because their guidebook is so amazing. And I really feel like that's the message that wants to come through for you Virgos. I, for one, have probably had too much coffee and feeling very ungrounded. Let's see. King of Sacred Circles. King of Sacred Circles is the Grandfather Thunder. An un... Undeviating... I don't know what that word is. A serious attitude of watchfulness. One who is slow to anger but volcanic in eruption. Sounds like a Virgo. Um, stern, implacable, steady, noble, reliable, courageous, persevering. But the weak aspects, which you guys did get it in the reverse. So the weak aspects are... Weak aspects include volatility um, and responsing and overreacting. So, you know... Virgos, try not to overreact, try not to over control, try to relax, try to come into some more of this nine of pentacles, laid back, relaxation, chill out energy. Okay, try to relinquish some of the control. And if you don't feel like you can do that with other people in your life, at least try to relinquish that to your spirit guides, your ancestors and your higher self. Okay, so um, that's our message for our gorgeous Virgos. And I just want to let you guys know that I want to do some pick a pile readings. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. They're not by Zodiac sign. I basically put a bunch of different piles of cards together intuitively. And then you guys pick which pile. And then that message is for anybody that picks the pile. It's not based on Zodiac. It's something I could do more frequently, but I need some ideas of the type of pick a pile readings that you guys would want me to do. So let me know in the comments below. Virgos, I hope you have a good month. Get out and socialize with your work. You'll be getting an invitation of some kind, some kind of correspondence um, for some type of work gathering, working on cooperation and releasing control and, you know, working on expanding your heart for the month of June. Um, again, watch this video as many times as you need to throughout the month. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.